Okay, this is a tutorial on uh, shape, um, blend shape animation, also called morphing in other programs. And uh, you very useful for li um, lip sync, which is what we're going to be using it for. And it's going to be part one of a lip sync tutorial I'm going to do for you. So uh, I have my little monkey here, and everything's ready to go. I've modeled, uh, well, this model is the way I want it, so I'm not going to make any drastic changes to the model itself. So I'm ready to start doing the shapes. So on your editing tab, um, you have a shape tab here and to get started just click on add shape key that will add a basis shape as you can see there's no um, options underneath this so uh, this is basically your your model in its rest pose okay so don't mess with this basis shape alright so we're just gonna add a new shape key and um, I'm gonna rename it to oh I'm gonna make uh, some mouth shapes here oops and so now um, I'll just start editing this um, start manipulating the uh, model here okay all right and now you see all the changes seem to have gone away when we tab in and out okay it's because we um, are seeing it without any key value set it's just set to the shape is set to 0% influence so if we want to see that we can just drag it and see as much influence as we want of that shape okay all right um, now we're, we can add more shape keys now and the thing is that the new shapes will take on the form of whatever we have selected here okay so we have this O shape at hundred percent so now I'm going to add a new shape and call this M and so as you can see the M shape now is taken on the form of uh, what we did with the O shape so this is one way that you can use to um, do shapes that are kind of similar and and that way you can save yourself a lot of time by modeling one and uh, just um, slightly manipulating that one shape okay so I'm gonna create like an M shape here okay all right so the M shape and we can see that oops unfortunately uh, the uh, reason why we're seeing this weirdness is we still have the uh, O shape completely uh, at 100% uh, influence so I'll turn that off and now you can see the M shape the way it's supposed to be. Okay, all right. And so uh, now we've created a couple shapes, and uh, let's um, uh, let's create another one. We'll call this one Smile. All right, and uh, kind of flatten his lips out here, stretch them, and rotate them into a smiley shape. Could be a smirk right there. Okay, so now we have him smiling. Okay, so now we have a couple different shapes, and um, if we go through these shapes, we'll see them uh, taking effect. All right, so now we have our shapes set up. Uh, we can go ahead and start animating them. I'm gonna switch to my animation uh, section here and uh, get this all set up. You need a lot of room to set this up here. So I'm gonna stretch out the, I'm gonna go to the action editor, oops. Okay. All right. So I'm not really seeing any shapes here in the action editor. Uh, I'm going to add a new action here. <clears throat> if we want to do regular, see the action editor just shows, for example, if I was moving this guy around here, this shows actual objects being animated. Okay. But uh, we're not going to do that right now. We're concerned with uh, shape animation. So uh, we're going to actually go in under the action editor uh, drop down here and go to shape key editor. And now you can see the shape keys that uh, we had created. And we can start animating them from here. And uh, something that can help you out is that uh, you can have the uh, click on this thing, you can see your sliders right there. So whenever you um, uh, move a slider, you're creating a new key. And so um, we'll go ahead and, and just like anything else in the action editor, um, you can start setting keys here. And. Uh, down. So now you can see it's starting to animate. And uh, of course the uh, effects of these keys will uh, blend together. So now I have my O and my M uh, starting to uh, affect each other at the same time. Might not be what I want, so I'm gonna, oops, I'm gonna move this key over here and duplicate that one. So now we have something that's starting to look sort of like a lip sync. So I'm gonna drag this one, uh, duplicate that one, and then we'll go over here and we'll set the smile 
and um, move that over there. And uh, let's see, this M, I'm going to make that down to zero, so he smiles. Okay, so now he's animating. It's not world-class animation, but that's how the basics of how you would animate it, okay? Uh, using the, uh, remember, in the action editor, just to select the shape key editor, and then you've got your sliders right here. You can also go into your editing and go uh, here and edit, uh, animate them from here, but it's much easier to do it up here. Um, the other thing is, if you want to go into the um, curves and animate the curve, the, the F curves of the shape key animation, you uh, go into your IPO curve editor and you won't see them initially because it's set to object mode so you have to go to shape mode and then you will see here your different shapes and then you can go ahead and right click on these for example hit tab and start editing these and you can edit the curve the way you see fit start uh, manipulating the curves and stuff so oh. all right so now you'll see that we have a slightly different animation based on that. So that's the basis of creating the shapes and animating them. Okay, and then next we'll get into some lip sync.